we talk about honor and, and courage, um, but you, you, you don't know what courage is until you're actually faced with a situation where you have to stand up. Um, and Benjamin was faced with that several times. And, you know, he, he, he put his life on the line for the guys around him, and they respected him for that, the guys that worked with him. Hey, welcome back to Sports Talk Live. Dr. David Schmidt, the team physician for the San Antonio Spurs, joins us now. And you heard the Admiral David Robinson speaking just moments ago. Uh, he was talking about Benjamin Schmidt, your son who was lost in Afghanistan. What does that make you feel to, to see, know that a guy that's been there and done that in a sense of at least served in the military, how much appreciation he has for what your son Well, my did. son uh, grew up with David Robinson. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was six when I started taking care of the Spurs. and. I and mean, David watched him grow up uh, as a young man, and you know it's it's an honor to have somebody like David speak about Benjamin like that. And, uh, Benjamin Schmidt, Lance Corporal, Marine sniper, lost in Afghanistan, October of 2011, and and uh, tell me about him as a, as a man, as because uh, you know from the father's eyes, tell me about what what he was about because he was an interesting interesting young man. Well, he went to TCU for three semesters, loved TCU, loved history, uh, loved to party, mm -hmm. and so he decided better join the Marine Corps, and he did, <laughs> and I wasn't particularly happy about it at the start, but he did, and he was an excellent soldier. Um, before his last tour in Afghanistan, he did something that really shocked me. What's and he, he said, I want to leave half of my life insurance policy uh, to TCU, which was $200,000, and establish a scholarship uh, in his name. And um, he did that. We've established a, a scholarship, and now we're uh, going to endow a professorship in his name. Uh, give me, okay, just give me an idea. The, the scholarship, the professorship, I mean, the, how deep this is from a, you know, let's face it, 23, 24-year-olds, we, we've all been there and done that, we, you know, the, to, to think that deeply and that, uh, that f I don't know, just from a standpoint of, uh, that's a lot. I mean, that's, that's pretty deep for, for uh, well, a young man of that age. And, and now you see it come to fruition and, and, uh, at TCU. I mean, that's, that's got to be special for you. Well, it is. And, and what's even more interesting is, is he said, I want it to be a graduate student. How about that? And As I a said, guy who dropped out, too. I said, why a graduate student? He goes, I wouldn't in invest in anybody like me. <laughs> As a freshman, know your limitations, and, right? And so uh, we've awarded the first scholarship this year, and, and uh, you know we're, we're working on endowing a professorship in his name. We feel like that's the least we can do for what he did, and that is, uh, it's also fulfilling his wishes too. That's got to exactly. Be. And, and this was joining the Marine Corps. That was something that you, you and your wife were not. You know, whenever it happened, you thought to yourself, "What the heck are you doing?" Didn't you? Well, we did. I mean, he was he was. Raised uh, around guns. I mean, he 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 loved being outside. He loved the outdoors. He loved shooting, and so uh, and he liked the discipline of the Marine Corps. Right. And so um, we knew it was a good fit. Right. And he was promoted several times uh, throughout. Uh, boot camp and SOI and and so he he was a good soldier. A, a good soldier. He was a high school football player too, right? And loved he, football. He loved football. Where did where where? Alamo was Heights. Alamo he, Heights. He uh, he graduated the year before they won the state championship. So timing is everything. Hey, okay. The the scholarship is it can is this a situation where people can can get involved with this? Is there something people can do? Absolutely. The 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 professorship. They can go to the TCU website. Uh, and they can, you know, Google his, I mean, go to TCU website and put, type his name in and they f can find out a way to so get you, to So you type in Benjamin Schmidt mm -hmm. and, then, and then it will take you to, a whole to, story to about where you want to know. About so it. if there's something about your son that, that, that you want people to know, what would it be? If there's something, when you look back, the lasting memories, the, the, the things that, uh, that, that you'll, you'll have for the rest of your life, what is something that people should know about your son? service before self. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reason he volunteered to go to Afghanistan twice. Right. Uh, the second time he went was because he was the most experienced sniper in the platoon. And he w wouldn't send his boys back to Afghanistan without himself. All right. Dr. David Schmidt, we certainly, we appreciate, we thank you obviously for the service of your son and we thank you for coming out here. Appreciate it very much. Thanks All for right. having me. Thanks very much. We've got more to come here on the show coming up.